Hi, I'm Lenny Pinna. And I'm Bonnie DeCasey. And together we are Ecclesia Arts. Before we get started today, I want to start with lighting a candle. And with lighting a candle for me means that it is a ritual of starting something new. Whenever I've started a new painting or something momentous, I light a candle and say that this particular time and space is very meaningful. And I'd like to invite you into this shared meaning today. I'm lighting a three wick candle, which to me represents Ecclesia because Ecclesia was a theater in Greece that brought together ritual, sacred ritual, plays, the Greek plays, and voting or the seat of democracy, democracy, civil discourse. And in bringing those three together, that is the full community. I would now talk about community. I would like to welcome the subscribers. The new subscribers that have come to the channel is very exciting. We have over a thousand today. And I also want to really thank the early subscribers. Really appreciate how you have uh, given comments and feedback and support that have really encouraged us on. You're very important. And now that we have a larger pool of subscribers, we're going to today share a larger vision. And today, not only do we want to share that vision, but we want to talk about how all of you can help us share that very important vision that not only is Ecclesia Arts, but is the Ted Burr story to a wider audience, which is very important to, um, I know a lot of you from your comments, but also to both of us. Yes, um, we, we thank you. What now is that we've given you sort of the past and the present. I know in our first presentation that started the channel, we talked about the whole journey for the last 23 years. So the past was the documentary, which is now on YouTube, and many of you have been watching Letters to Uranus, The Hidden Life of Ted Burr. Then we have the present, which is the book that was published, A Face from Uranus, the correspondence between Ted Burr and Henry Bellum in 1943 to 1945. And I know I've talked about it before, but what's on the horizon for the future is a limited TV series called In the Name of Jamie Wakefield. And that <laughs> is what's really exciting. <laughs> and in some way... Um, the preparation of knowing a little bit more about the past and a little bit about the present could really help in uh, allowing you to really appreciate what we have in store for the future. Mm -hmm. What I have on the horizon is I'm going to attempt in the fall to begin putting the pilot for the series on YouTube in installments. And I'm going to do it in a sort of minimalist, imaginative, uh, creative way. First, and foremost is to make the story come alive for you in your imagination. The ultimate goal would be someday a larger production company putting it really in its context of 1943 to 1945 with all the periods costumes and the period uh, sets and really bring it alive. And that's a big, big production. But I feel until that happens, I think it's really important to share the story now. And the reason is I knew from the beginning, the story was a lot bigger than just myself and now a lot bigger than Bonnie <laughs> and I uh, really creating th this channel and, and this opportunity. I knew that it was gonna take a community of individuals, much larger than the individual, to get Ted Burr's story out. And so we are inviting you now to join in with a community of individuals to help extend Ecclesia Arts and extend the opportunity to get the Ted Burr, Ted Burr story out into the mainstream. And I hope one day we will all see the young Ted Burr and Henry Bellman on the big screen mm -hmm. and uh, really get in deep to their intricate relationship. And the whole milieu of that time in which the music, the arts, everything was a part, was a part of the texture and also the war, World War yes, II, war, to, yeah. really, uh, to really feel the presence of World War II laced in and part of the story as well. So that's the big vision, but the step to get there is this what it's we're doing sharing. right now, mm -hmm. is sharing our vision with you hoping that you will invest in sharing the vision with others. And Bonnie, <laughs> who, <laughs> who happens to have <laughs> much more experience in this uh, arena, uh, will tell you some of the ways in which you can help. So first of all, I have to say, 
I am so incredibly excited that this channel has only been around for now one month. I mean, it's really, we, we passed the one month mark on August 23rd, um, that all of you have been so incredibly supportive because what that shows us is that there are so many people in the world who want to see the Ted Burr story. And as the early adopters, you all have shown um, your love and support so much mm. in leaving Lenny um, you know, comments. We've gotten private messages from a lot of you. And that actually really means so much to us because it's proof that what we're doing is meaningful and we're ready for the next step. So um, Lenny and I actually discussed this video a little bit, you know, today because we were like, you know, how do we mm. ask all of you to help us? So we wanted to do a video about sharing this vision. And um, it, it's actually very simple. We're not doing, you know, any type of like GoFundMe thing. We're not going big. We don't want to self-produce um, a multi-million dollar production. That's not something the two of us can do together. <laughs> no. But what we can do is give you Lenny's vision and the first episode in the name of Jamie Wakefield to you on YouTube in a limited way. What we'd love from all of you is to help us share this vision. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. Number one is if you've watched Hidden Life of Ted Burr, share it. Letters to Uranus, the movie that was filmed in 2001. Hit the share button, share it to your Facebook friends. If you know people who you think would be interested in this story, give them the link. You can copy and get the URL. You can put it on your blog. You can share it anywhere on social media. And more people are going to see the movie. They're going to see Ted Burr. And the other thing that you can do is that you can read the book, which I know a lot of you have done. <laughs> so many people have written me personally and said they've read the book. Um, if you feel comfortable, take a picture of yourself with the book. Ted's Burr, Ted Burr's face is so memorable. That picture of him in 1943 as a 19-year-old boy, um, that face is going to be a face that people are going to remember. So if you want to at Lenny on Instagram, he is at Lenny Pinart. I will put the link below for all of you. Tag Lenny. We will share that out on our own channels. I have an Instagram account. Lenny has one. We're going to, we want to share photos of people with the book, share them on your own Instagram. Let's get Ted Burr's face out there. Yes. Yes. Um, the other thing that you can do, so as many of you have seen on Ecclesia Arts, I am reading book reviews. It's a joy for me to do this. I am enjoying this so much. <laughs> it's a little, a little off passion of mine to be able to do this. And if you've written a review on either Amazon or Barnes and Noble, I'm going to get to all of these. It's been a little busy week. <laughs> <laughs> we've, been, we've been making eggplant. We've been doing all kinds of stuff. Uh, busy week. Um, but what I want to do is I would like to, every single person that writes a review, I want to personally read that review and put it on Ecclesia Arts so more people can experience. So go to Amazon. If you've read the book, uh, we would really appreciate it if you've read, uh, leave a review, Barnes and Noble, same thing. And, um, you know, just to, just to get the word out. I am so excited. This, this project has given me a whole nother level of creative life and passion. And working with Lenny again has been one of really the greatest joys um, that I've had this year. And I, I'm excited. And I know all of you are excited. And uh, like I said, we just, we just need your help in getting this story out. So picking up with Bonnie, Bonnie is a, high, a big supporter and got invested and it's doing things for her. I really want to invite all of you yes. to become invested in this. And by invested, I mean your heart, your soul, your sense of wanting a story to come out that is deep and meaningful and ready for our time. Like I said, from the very beginning, I knew the story was bigger than me and that it would take the best way for this story to come out is for people who are actually really interested in it to invest in furthering it because 
it's not just about knocking on a door and say, hey, would you produce this? Exactly. This one is about a passion project, meaning the people who are attracted to this material, to this story, are the ones I hopefully will get the story exactly. out and that that will ripple and that those who come draw together and Ecclesia is this drawing of diverse individuals who come together for a common purpose and say this artistic expression uh, has meaning in our lives, has meaning in society mm -hmm. and we're all a part of bringing that story to life and we're doing a great contribution then to the world by giving a story out that many people have nurtured and mm -hmm. invested and encouraged. And so we really want to invite you into Ecclesia Arts yes. to extend us, to extend, become part of Ecclesia Arts and extend it by bringing Ted story into the world and becoming more visible. We are truly honored to have this <laughs> conversation with you. It's a little, <laughs> it's a little vulnerable, <laughs> but you know, Bonnie and I did this 25 yeah. years ago, but we did it in a theater community. So mm -hmm. it was a smaller, smaller venture in that we were in a locale. Mm -hmm. We, we, but we what, had no social media. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 27 years ago. All we had was paper. <laughs> Writing things out. Right. And so we really felt in sync with ourselves and with our community and the community it itself responded. responded and said, yes, what you're doing, you're bringing us together Beautiful. in a way that we've been excited to have this kind of thing in our community. And so here we are 27 years later and doing it in a new medium, in a new way. But I also think it's a way that this time requires. Yes. I think it requires. We have I, a need for community We now. just came out of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. we, we've gotten in touch with people's stories more intimately and deeply. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really time for new models of ways. You know, the writers and actors are on strike in Hollywood right now. I can't wait for that. And I'm really happy that they're doing what they need to do to take care of themselves. But right now what I'm doing is to try to get the story out in a way I can right now. And Bonnie and I together mm -hmm. are inviting you to let's create something new right during this time when other people aren't able to do it in, in the profession, mm -hmm. but we can do it on YouTube. Exactly. And exactly. So and if you have any feedback for us, um, many of you have actually left <laughs> some really good comments. Yes. And we've, we've, <laughs> we've really taken all we've of taken them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, whether or not it was to put a picture up of Ted, because um, I, I know a lot of people are curious about things that we see every day with the story. Yes. yes. And um, we're going to try and bring more elements. But if you, you know, if you have any, you know, interesting um feedback for us please leave it below oh. because you know being that this is a community forum um we we love reading feedback i also want to say questions and comments yes i'm doing these dramatic readings right now leading up to the series mm -hmm. um if there's something that you heard in the story that you have a question about yes. uh or want to know more about feel free to create a conversation and i'll be happy to you know comment exactly back. Yeah, and additionally, if there's part of the story um, that you'd like to know more about, because we are so deep in this story, sometimes it's hard for us um, to understand, you know, what, you know, whether it be a timeline, you know, uh, a period, you know, when the you know story takes place. Anything you guys want to know about, leave a comment below, and you know, Lenny is happy to um, elaborate. What I want you to know is we really understand in this project how big it is. Mm -hmm and how it's coming to you in such a big way where there was a past documentary yes. that led to a present book that's leading to a future TV series. Mm -hmm. And you're just hearing about it all within a short period of time. I've been living with this for 23, 23 years. years. <laughs> <laughs> so I wanna say- I actually have pretty much <laughs> too. <laughs> yes. And what I want to say is that um, we understand that it's going to take time for people to really absorb mm -hmm. the different elements. But I'll tell you, it's like a puzzle. Each piece you start learning about, I think, will become a very rich picture of the story of Ted that exactly. I think you will really And Ted's want. story touches everyone. I mean, Ted's story is a universal um Com com community. I mean, community. we've been hearing yeah. the, we've been hearing the comments about mm -hmm. the, the common experience they could feel. Yes. Different circumstances, same feeling. Yes, and I think that's what great art really does, and that's what it, Ecclesia is all about. It takes that's what seems to be different, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden it brings it close, and you go, ah, 
we're all the same. We're, it, it brings us to a sense of community, mm -hmm. a sense of closeness, a sense of exactly. commonality. Uh, well, the final thing I actually want to touch on, too, is that Ted wanted his story out, too. This is another thing I think you, you should talk about for a minute or two. Well, from from the very inscription that he wrote when he was 20 years old, saying that someday I would like my story to be bound in black leather mm -hmm. and tell the details then to the fact that uh, when he was in his seventies, he knew that he had the letters and he knew, you know, something could be done with them, mm -hmm. that he started typing them thinking maybe they were worthy of publication. And again, in 2000, it was not a time when his story was really well appreciated. Mm -hmm. uh, but he knew that I found the value in them and that after we made our documentary, he gave me permission and bequeathed me the letters so that I could go on and tell his story. Yes. And it's just beautiful to know that the visibility that Ted is going to have and is already starting to have, uh, that his life was for naught. He, exactly. he was such a beautiful person way back when he was 19, when you read the letters, to when he was in his 70s and 80s, as you saw in the documentary. Very special human being. And I, it just brings me great joy to know that many people are going to get to know Ted. Yes. And he ended that one poem in one of the letters where he said, let me be loved in someone's memory. <laughs> and I uh, think, yeah. I think someday yeah, that's amazing. many people will love Ted. And I feel like I am an extension of all of this because Lenny additionally is an incredibly special person <laughs> and he is I, I, I sometimes I'm just in awe of the fact that he has been able to stick with the story for 23 years. His dedication to getting Ted's story out is just, it's phenomenal. It is. And I, I'm so appreciative to all of you who have just been with us for the past month. We, we truly appreciate your support. And like I said, this is, this is a little bit hard for us to just come on and say, you to know, be vulnerable. Yeah, it is. It, it, it really is to just say, you know, can you help us? And that that's really what we need. So sharing the video, sharing the channel, letting people know about Ted, Ted's story, about Lenny, about the book. Um, we're we're going to get this out there. And we, we, we thank all of you so much for being our early supporters and um, being here with us through all of this. We're, we're, we're greatly appreciative. Very much so. And I think you know by now that the project is really from the soul. And I hope you feel that and, and um, invest and become part of it. I think I'm going to end right now with blowing out these candles. And just because we're blowing out the candles, our fire of commitment and warmth as a community remains always. But this was a special period of time that we commemorated with the candle. And I think it's to close that way as well. We appreciate you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.